This video is going to be everything I know about how to make an actual butterfly mortise. I'm just going to be talking about how to make that actual thing there. <laughs> this is one of my original design pieces, a Mike Z design bench, mid-century modern style. Top is shaped to cup your bottom, very comfortable to sit in. When you're looking at it when it's on the ground, it has the illusion that the top floats up off the legs because there's a nice thin front edge here, but that's a chamfer. It's actually much thicker. We're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about how do you make that piece? How do you make a butterfly mortise? Well, it all starts with a rip. This is going to be your end product. You rip your material. I uh, go with about an inch and a quarter wide, about three eighths of an inch thick. Mm, I tend to make these all about the same. They're three inches long <clears throat> at the center. That's about a half inch wide here. And you want to lay all that out, draw those lines. That's what takes the most amount of time. You want to give yourself more than an eighth of an inch room between each one of these because when you bring it over here to the saw, you want to have yourself a zero tolerance cut sled here. And you want to be able to lay that on there and eyeball that right at the mark. Cut it, move this over, cut it again, and you end up with these. If you, if you go with just an eighth inch here, you're probably going to screw up at some point, and then your butterfly is going to start shrinking. They're going to be off center, won't look right. So then you take these here, over to the band saw, and you pile them up, and you start cutting. And you end up with all those extra pieces. And you end up with these here, and you're going to take one of these over to your bench. Let's see if I can show this to you. And you are going to take a sanding block and clean that up, right? So you're going to run that on there, you use a chisel, you're going to clean this out any way you need to. Then you're going to take the piece, you're going to lay it on your boards at the seam, you're going to trace that out, you're going to put a, want to put a register mark next to it and on the butterfly mortise. So you know how to fit the piece correctly. I'm kind of getting into how to put the butterfly mortise in place now. Really, it's just about how to make the butterfly mortise. You already know how to make this now. But your next step here would be, you know, take your chisels. You want to place that so that it's inside the line. Whack it with a hammer. You want it inside the line because the bevel on that chisel, when you whack it, it's going to make the chisel slide towards the line. Got a nice wide Japanese chisel so I can do these in one shot, these lines. All right? Japanese steel's better for hardwood, by the way. Once you get that all lined out, you want to use your uh, router. You want to set your depth correct. Use your router, plunge it in there, remove the material, clean out the excess with your chisels. You end up using these uh, butterfly mortise chisels here. All right, that, that'll get you real tight into the corners to clean it out. And then, uh, you know, you're going to fit your piece. Some type on two glue in there, whack that home with a hammer, you're done. So a little custom base I made for that router so I could see right up to the line. That's kind of important. When I first started doing this, uh, first thing I tried was one of those router kits, you know, with the uh, for a butterfly mortise, so which is this brass template thing worked with a template a plastic template and a straight cutting bit and the reason I don't like that is because then they all look exactly the same all the corners on the butterfly mortise are rounded over they look machine cut if you want them to look like they're made by hand you gotta make them by hand <laughs> no way around that it's a mechanical fastener in the old days glues weren't as good your milling might not have been good on your wood might not have been killing dried wood wood's gonna warp it's gonna want to pull apart so for hundreds of thousands of years, uh, Carver has been using joinery to solve the problem of mechanically holding wood together. Long before there was nails or screws or anything else. If you look at a drawer that has dovetails on it, the reason for the dovetails was back in the day before there was hardware, uh, with expansion and contraction, everything was wood, drawers would stick. And if you didn't have dovetails on that drawer front, you could, when the drawer gets stuck, you could rip the drawer right off the front. That's why they came up with dovetails. This is basically two opposing dovetails. So that's how you make a butterfly mortise. That's kind of how you put it in. If you're curious anymore, you want to see any more, go to my Instagram, go to hashtag Mike Z Design. 
and you'll just peruse that. There's some videos in there where I'm actually using the router to plunge into the work to fit these pieces. I think there's some videos where I'm doing the whole thing. Uh, so hashtag Mike Z Design. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Mike Z Design is my Facebook page. It's pretty good. Go to photos, go to albums, choose all. And that's, that could be like 60% of the work I've done in the last 30 plus years. They're complete picture folders, start to finish on projects. Um, there's a uh, at least one picture folder in there that shows you how I do this. Pretty good. And then, I mean, you could always, there's the website, www.mikezdesign.com. And it's somewhat antiquated, but you can read, there's a bio in there, there's how I work, design consultant, all that. Some good information there. And if you just type Mike Z Design into uh, any search engine, uh, you'll see a lot of my work will pop up. There's been some write-ups on, on me and all that. It's not about me, but if you're looking for information on woodworking and how to do butterfly mortises and you look at all those sources, everything I do is there. So you can kind of figure it out from there. But I hope this helps. I'm just here to help. You know, We should just be helping each other out. Nothing I'm doing is a mystery. What I'm doing right here, what I just showed you, carpenters have been doing for thousands of years, just without the power tools. Have a good day. Be good to one another. Uh, bye.